going on commanders this is going to be another supplement guide to the beginner guide series that i've been doing if you guys haven't done so already please consider liking subscribing leaving a comment would greatly appreciate it for more feedback or if you guys want me to do other guides about anything in particular other than that let's get right into what's going on so i've recorded my special interception runs on my main account so how it's going to go down is I will be clearing the special interception runs with my main team team that I have right now, which is leader Blanc, Noir, Red Hood and Modernia. As you can see, Blanc and Noir aren't three starred. I've been actually been using this team since Red Hood came out and I have been really switched. It, it causes a little bit of problems. You're going to see it in one of the other videos. But other than that, this is the team I'm going to be using for the first run and then for the subsequent other runs after this, because I do more runs. So you guys are going to see that and you guys are going to see the other teams that I run. You don't have to use this team, but I'll be giving tips and tricks on how to defeat all these bosses and how I defeat all these bosses. And without further ado, we're going to get right into it. So I'm going to just play boom, boom yep all right that goes me I think mock battle because i recorded these after i did my three runs per day all right so i usually don't uh watch the intros i don't think anyone does but this is the hardest boss in special interception just due to the rocket launchers uh, well i just as uh oh never mind i <laughs> i messed up I, remember, I forgot about that i messed up Going the first run because I believe I burst too early. But um, going back to it, um, the hardest thing about this boss in particular is you, is the first uh, phase, which is the rocket launchers and also that the um, the DPS check, which is those rockets. You want to make sure that you have a unit that could destroy those rockets fast before they could touch your touch your team. And there you go. See right right away, Red Hood just does her job. And then now into the second phase, you want to make sure you destroy the parts in the first phase, the rocket launcher first, well, the missile launcher first. And then in the second phase, you want to make sure you destroy those missiles so they don't touch a team and hit the red circle. Um, that's essentially what it is. And boom, there we go. Record time. This is the next recording. I'm using a different team. All right, so we're gonna pause here. I've used this team before. This is actually the team I've used to first clear on the train, which is the team of Leader, Nor, Biscuit, Modernia, and Alice. I use Alice because this boss's elemental weakness is fire. If you get OL gears for Alice, you will actually be able to just run through a lot of the parts that the train has. Most likely the stat you do want to roll on Alice when you get OL gears is max ammo capacity. Other than that, you don't really need to do too much after that. You could probably get one charge speed if you care enough. The first time I've cleared this, I rolled Alice's OL gear stats. I got three max ammo capacities, and then I've just been able to do it. I use both Noah and Biscuit. Noah is able to taunt through her burst or through her one of her skills. I forgot specifically which one, but you're gonna see in the video. I use Biscuit because Biscuit is able to rebuild cover it gives units another opportunity to survive the onslaught of the missile launchers we're just going to go right into the video so we're going to hit play and using noah first well using noah you're going to have to utilize the iframes of the unit by going in and out of cover now i'm i go unga bunga i don't really care enough about using the iframes but you can look up a video on how iframes work uh, okay, so yeah, that's a dead run. Once the train goes up beside your team, you want to destroy the missile launcher first with Alice. But usually you will be playing Noah at this point. You want to make sure her taunt goes off. And then you want to pop Alice's burst so you can do the damage. Well, destroy the parts while Noah is taking the heat. And now we just play Modernia right now. We just use Biscuit because that we could just get another burst off and then we just use Modernia's burst to just nullify all of the rockets just coming to our team at this point it's just waiting for the health bar to come to go down we just yep yep there you go just burst right into Alice and boom right there that second run is just for Alice to show you what you should be doing with Alice so we're gonna let the NPC 
where the computer take care of the characters, but this is what, essentially what you want to do. You want to be doing with Noah. You just want to be full charging and then shooting so she could get her taunt off into Modernia so we don't get destroyed by that AoE. Good job, Modernia. Love you. Long time. Now, we, this is essentially all she wrote. We're just going through the same thing like we did in the second run. We're going to be going over what the characters, well, what I've invested in the characters. As you can see, Noah only has the basic 444. Doesn't have any of her gears leveled up. And then she has this wingman cube that I have equipped it to her. As you can see here, it just gives some stats and some skills. I don't believe I click them. Oh, there you go. I did click them. All right. So yeah, max ammo capacity increase and just damage against strong element. If I remember correctly, I just used it for just the stats. And then yeah, that there's the, um, the weakness for the train. It's a wind element and he's weak against fire. That's why Alice and Modernia was able to go through this boss as fast as they were. Okay, next boss is Gravedigger. Now this is, like I said, first team. This is the team I use. This is the boss that actually gives me the most problems with this team specifically because of how fast Gravedigger moves in the phase where it drops all its armor. So as you can see, you want to hit the red circles. Red Hood is doing her job. And then, yeah, there you go. Though That is the red circles is the, um, the issue with this team. I, but as you can see that hitting those red circles are pretty hard. <laughs> and I'm going to let you guys know that this, this is the fastest. And this the, that is the only time I'm, oh, I'm ever going to get that much that good of a luck with um hitting those red circles now we have to go to the next runs which is right here we stopped that team this is the first team i used to clear the grave digger consistently so you want to run a shotgun meta team and we have leader viper noir sugar and modernia sugar actually does a lot of work in this boss in particular because this boss is weak against the iron element or the yellow element so you want to make sure you're bursting with her as fast as possible and as much as possible and when you pearl burst with shotgun units everyone just focuses on one particular point so it's pretty easy to hit the red circles with viper in particular viper actually gives the boss a defense reduction fighting the enemy i just did that because i was waiting you know just trying to get a clean shot off one of the red circles with sugar but as you can see boom boom pow and uh, yeah, that's pretty much all she wrote, to be honest. Pretty easy run with the shotgun team. This is where we show the, um, the builds for the characters. No investment, low investment for Fur 4. No level of equipment for Viper, for Sugar. We got 444. And for Gears, no investment. Three stars for Noir. I don't know why I didn't show Blanc last time, but as you can see, 444 and got a cube but no investment in gears so this team i wanted to be a little spicy and then put made privately but you don't have to have noir on the team you can just run it with viper and sugar and sugar is going to be your star player so you're not really going to be hurting if you don't have one of the specific characters you can actually look them up on nikkei gg to see all the units that you, they do recommend when you go against the um, special intercept bosses you could check the team comps there, but this is, I'm just doing this so you guys could see like, all right, you know, you don't have to have the most meta units. You guys just have to utilize what you have. Oh, I say that, but I have Leader and Modernia just providing backup for everyone. You don't have to have Modernia or Leader. As you can see, I'm just, we're just going in right now on um, Gravedigger. And after this, we're actually going to show Made Privity's investment. Ooh, nice. What's going on, Viper? Okay, so now we're going to be showing Maid Privity investment. She's even worse than minimal. She has, she has one, one, one for skills, and she has no equipment um, invested. Well, level invested. Right now, I'm just recycling the footage to show you guys. Right when you're facing Grave Digger, you want to make sure you're shooting these drills. Make sure that it doesn't hurt hit any of your teammates or you want to hide behind cover because they will stun you. They will stun your characters for about. Uh, maybe like eight ten seconds and that's going to slow down your burst and that's going to minimize the damage and you could actually get one shotted by grave digger if you don't have overload equipment or, or well equipment maxed raised up all the way um i mean you can use your cover to when that happens but it's not likely that your team will survive 
even if you have cover. So you want to make sure you hit those red circles and you want to hit these drill projectiles so you don't your characters don't get stunned so you can utilize their bursts. Okay, next boss. Blacksmith. Now for me this is the second easiest boss to fight. As you can see, it's a fire element, rapture, weak against water. But we don't care because I'm using my favorite my team that I have been always using since I got Red Hood. And we're just gonna unga bunga it. Um this to me this is the second easiest boss to face because of how um of how crazy Red Hood is. Okay, so right there, um, as you saw those little bombs that appeared over his head, you want to make sure you destroy those as fast as possible because they can one shot your team, um, depending on how many clusters of bombs just that are just there. It's about like maybe four, maybe three to five clusters can just wipe out one unit if it hits. Uh, but that's that's giving. Like, I'm, I'm not. I have. I haven't. Like my my. As you can see, my team is pretty decked out that I've um, used for Modernia, Red Hood, and Leader. And um, yeah, that's just clean, easy victory. Okay, so with this team, I wanted to get a little spicy. Uh, I wanted to put Helm on the team because Helm has parts breaking passives. And to, to be honest, this is the first time I've ever done this where I've break, broken one of Blacksmith's uh, rifles to the side. I've never done it besides this. I wanted to see, I was like, hmm, you know, let's see what's going on here. You know, let's see if it's actually worth investing to destroy one of them besides just hitting its core that little red eye thing right now i'm just hard focusing on the rifle using helm to help tenderize the part a little more because of her pat one of her passive skills and i just have senti up because senti is just the goat she provides shields so i just don't die right away <laughs> but as you can see there i destroyed the right the, the rifle Part, but it didn't do significant damage to his HP bar. So I was like, all right, well, you know, let's just do that. Let's uh, you just focus on the eye right now. And you want to destroy, you want to pop those red circles as fast as possible. Because if you don't, it's going, he's going to hit your team with an AoE that's just going to cleave through your team. And this run is actually going to get a little spicier, a little more spicier, because now we're not using a lot of uh, machine gun units. We have two assault rifle units and two rocket launcher units and one shotgun unit. But I just wanted to just show different team comps. We could, I'm just running the schoolgirls because I'm like, yeah, why not? I'm using Privity because she's able to get rid of those little bombs that appear off of Blacksmith's head for an AOE clear. You could use that a lot easier that way to instead of just hard focusing. But with two rocket launcher units on the team, it's going to be relatively easy to get rid of those. Uh, I say that and then look at Tia. She just took all that to the face like a champ. Um, There is a run where I was... I don't think it's this run, but there, oh, there goes Tia. But I believe that there's a run in here that I was like, oh, fuck. Do I just um, do I, do I just uh, retry? And I was like, nah, we locking in, boys. And... Even though Tia is dead, we're still able to do damage. There you go. There you go. See, as you can see, <laughs> nearly Dorothy died. And then she has, at this point, she's been the unit that I've been working on, getting her OL gear up. She's 10, 10, 10 on her skills. She doesn't have a cube. You know, she's pretty up there in her stats. And you, you saw she almost died. She almost got put six feet under for just missing that aoe but yeah that's what happens when um you miss the aoe like i did but yeah it was just closing up on the end here and then naga gets stunned yeah that's another thing that blacksmith does towards the end of his health bar where blacksmith will stun one of your end, um, allies and you have to pop the circles so the person that gets stunned will die just showing you guys the investment for the units for the schoolgirls in particular just like Blanc and or just like the bunnies I don't have them invested at all private is a bit invested in with the hair skills but no gear investment as you can see here just very low investment for these characters Naga doesn't have any stars either next boss is chatterbox he's actually the easiest 
boss in Special Intercept. This is probably going to be your first victory in Special Interception. Now, his pattern is pretty easy to exploit. So what you want to do first is you want to destroy both rock well one you want to hard focus on one of the rocket launcher units well parts on his back you just want to make sure you destroy those so he's not able to do his little rockets that will do severe damage to your units and i believe he could debuff the, the rockets debuff but like that's uh that's something that i have to... i don't think that how does that work i don't think i think it does um, debuff now we're using a more spicier team we're not really using uh oh yeah th yeah this is the run this is actually the run i uh was gonna reset but i was like you know what fuck it we log it in but i wanted to use this team because i wanted to show that you can beat chatterbox without damage increasing units i say that but helm is a damage increasing unit i'm just using volume because of her cooldown and as you can see here it's a lot slower but you see that over there, where through the missile launcher, you have to destroy that as fast as possible. Oh yeah, we actually do. Yeah, this is the this is oh like ooh. But you want to like always pop those red circles. You want to utilize cover. Chatterbox will always do that. He will always do his jumping um, attack like a dragoon. So you want to do that and go Scarlet. I think I reset here too. Yeah, I do. All right, so. As you can see, it's not a lot of machine gun units on this team in particular. We are struggling a little bit, but you, it can be done. It can be done and make sure you utilize your characters as much as you can. I was able to do a few couple, few quick shots to get rid of those red circles with La Plus. She's actually the strongest unit on my team <laughs> or oh, on this team right now. Another thing that you guys should be aware of you want to destroy those rocket launcher um, parts, but you never want to destroy the core because if you destroy the core, Chatterbox will jump back and then he'll do an AOE move that will kill everybody. Yeah, it's a lot of uh, will kill everybody AOEs in Special Intercept. Who would have thought? They don't stop your the stats that are coming from your gears or from the skill levels. Those are whatever you have them at. It's just you get level locked at 200 for Special Interception. I yeah, there you go. I believe uh, it was this part. I was like, you know what? Fuck it. We ball. Even though we lost our healer, it's also another reason why we have Helm on the party because she could heal. Like, you know what? We're just, we're, we'll go, we're doing it. We're doing it live. I'm just utilizing La Plus. She's my strongest unit on the team. Even though I have a Pilgrim on the team, Jetstream Scarlet, she has no type of investment. She has minimal investment. No level ups for her gears, just company gears and just 444. Four, four. Showing you guys my investment on these characters, 444, four, four, just company gears for volume. Senti, Senti is the goat, so she had to, uh, she's part of my campaign clear team. So I did invest a lot of resources in leveling up her OL gear and uh, increasing her skills as well. Helm was somewhat on the campaign team. She's specific. I use her as my boss killer. And as you can see here, the plus, the goat and over here Jeshim Scarlet no investment at all low well low not all at all investment okay now we go into Modernia she is an iron element rapture that is weak against wind so we're just gonna go run through it now this specifically a timing in where you skip her um, intro animation once she's once you see her and she starts closing her the cockpit huh cockpit uh, you want to skip that animation because auto tar that allows your characters to target the core part. That's essentially the first part you want to destroy first because that stops her AOE. Her AOE does two hits. It will destroy your cover and you will it will stun everyone on the team. So that's the most annoying part about this boss fight in particular is if she gets her AOE off, she will stun the whole team. You would want to utilize cover first because it does a lot of damage. And then boom, easy peasy. Another thing you want to do to make sure is you don't want to destroy her rocket launcher parts because that resets her core. So here we go. Now we have a spicier team. We're using Jet Stream Scarlet again, but we're also using everyone's favorite Snow White. I'm just showing off the investments of my characters. Pepper isn't that invested. Dala is somewhat invested on because she was part of my campaign clear team. I've moved her off with Senti. Right, I'm just showing off Scarlet again. Then we got Biscuit. 
at Biscuit. She's low investment. Yeah, the highest investment person is Snow White. You want to make sure you skip the animation when, yeah, when you see Modernia. You want to target the core, and I believe this is where we actually get hit by the AoE. She, yep, there you go, yep. We get hit by the AoE. There you go. Like I said earlier, you don't, you do not want to destroy the missile launcher unit because she, because Modernia will be stuck in a cycle of she's just going to keep backing up and then using her uh, missile launchers to shoot out those little mines to attack your units. If you don't destroy any of the missile launchers, she's just going to be stuck in this attack sequence for the rest of the battle. This is going to be, this is the longest um, that we've fought the boss. I believe it takes about like two minutes, 30. I'm actually manualing Pepper right now because she's actually, she's one of the units you do want to manual because of how her kit works. You want to make sure you get to the end of her magazine every time so she could get her stacks off and her heels off, as you can see over there. Yep, there you go. When she does her burst, she just heals due to the stacks that she has hitting the end of her magazine. So you just want to keep making sure you hit the end of your magazine with Pepper. Like anytime you have Pepper on your team, you just want to do that. And um, yeah, I'm just slowly whittling away. Destroyed the core and Modernity is just stuck in her attack pattern. And there we go. Hopefully this supplement guide for the beginner guide for EX interception bosses Hopefully this video helped you understand the attack patterns, what to do, what not to do with each boss. That's going to be it. Thank you for watching the video. If you guys haven't done so, please leave a like, subscribe, leave a comment and enjoy the rest of your day, everyone. Bye, 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 bye.